Hey guys, Dave here, and welcome back to the channel. We're going to continue on our series on how to convert your static sim rig into a seat mover. Now, up to this point, we have got all the software to work with the motors. We built a uh, auxiliary motor stand. We tested it. Um, we started mounting the motors on the existing sim, frig, sim rig frame. We put a U-joint in. We tested out the balance. All, got all those things ready. I finally put together this really shaky rig. This is kind of why I didn't like this rig. Um, got the seat on here. Now let's open up uh, SMC3, make sure everything's working again, and uh, proceed from there. Maybe we can get this thing moving today. Maybe not. I don't know. Let's uh, take a look. All right, so on interface settings, we want A, axis 1A, B, axis 2A. And I'll put the text up really big and bold so that you can see it. COM4, 50,000, 8 data bits, parity none, and 1 stop bit. Output bit range is 10, and it's in binary. So we're going to look at the axis assignments. Uh, first one, pitch. And we're only going to do one at a time, so we're going to try DOF1, pitch. We're going to go to output testing. We're going to turn it on. Let's see what happens. All right, so pitch. Let's see what. The, okay, so one is moving. They're both kind of moving now. They're not moving all that. Okay, so we got pitch moving. So this is going to be like going up a hill. So if we uh, center this and go to surge, which should be acceleration and braking, 100% of braking and 100% acceleration. Looks like that's working. Uh, let's center that. And we're gonna go to roll, which is left or right. I'm not sure which one it's gonna show me first. So this is going to be to the, the right. And this one should go to the left. All right. And then sway is going to be very similar, like going around a corner. And we're gonna turn this off. All right, guys, so yeah, it seems to be working. It's not real strong and we don't have the settings turned up really high. We just wanna get a feel for if we're gonna push on the gas called acceleration that the chair is gonna move or the seat is going to move backwards. Uh, if we're braking, it's going to move forwards and not all wonky. It's a little bit wonky, and I think I know why. And one of the tubes, the little plastic tube, is just a little bit long. But, you know, once, once we get in the game, we feel if it's a little bit better, you're going to be able to tune all this stuff yourself and decide what's right for you. Um, like I said, the SMC3 software, we can do a lot more tuning there too. If it's not strong enough, we can add just a little bit more power, etc. A little bit more range of motion right now. Well, we've already kind of capped everything to just bare minimums right now. So let's put it in a game. The game that we can put in for free is called Live for Speed. I'm going to put it on this old laptop and see if it works. So let me get that set up. All right, so I've got the uh, game manager. Now the game manager, it's separate from the game engine. The game engine allows the, uh, the motors to work. This thing helps you select the games. So I found Live for Speed, and there's a, a thing called a profile editor. 
and you can like put in uh, your pitch, your roll, your sway, and surge. Surge is acceleration, sway is when you're turning left or right, it's supposed to simulate the G-force. So let's put all this stuff about 20. Eh, 20. And pitch, that's up and down a hill. Let's put it at 10. And roll, that's around uh, a curve. Just the, the geographic type of a curve. So at least that's the way I understand it. So we're going to go ahead and save this and... We also got more if you have more motors like traction loss you can do that but in any case right here we're at live for speed and i'll show you how to patch this thing in um, they do have tutorials on it but i'll see if i can do a mini tutorial on that because i don't want to leave anybody in the lurch it was a little bit difficult to figure out for initially because i've never done it before but let's see if i got that game somewhere all right guys i got the lift for speed ready to go single player let's just see what happens give us some gas now you can't hear it because this thing is the computer speakers are blown but whoa okay so i'm putting it first second tip the brake and it didn't really do anything a little bit on the brake Now this could be due to the motors too. Um, oh, yeah, <laughs> this is not the most stable setup for sure. It doesn't seem to be doing much right this second with this car. I should be f feeling a lot more energy. So potentially, stop, potentially, we're going to go into SMC3 and uh, just crank up the settings just a little bit. I should be able to feel it better than I'm feeling it. And I should be able to always feel it. Like right now, for some reason, I am not feeling anything. Alright guys, so this is what we got going on. I got SMC3 set up. I cranked the settings up just a little bit. Um, to 125, 125. So I'm just going to copy down those settings. I got it on uh, motion right now, so it's motor to motion. If I put it on motor one motion, it's going to do the other, the opposite one over there. It looks like it's doing pretty good. I, mean, I can hear the fan working and stuff like that. We we'll go ahead and sit in it and see what happens. How how much power this thing seems to have. So I'm gonna just put this to monitor so I can sit down without any issues. So, I'm going to put motor one, I'm going to put it on motion. I'm going to lean back just a little bit and let's just see what happens. Well, it's, it's see, this is what, this is something that's going on that the green line, the pot, is not following it. Put it on monitor. Put it on number two. And put it on motion. The green line, every now and again, is following it. It's not following it the way it should. It doesn't look like these motors are going to have enough power. I mean, they move the seat around just fine, but when I sit in it, there's just watch when i put some weight on it it just kind of stops that just means 
hey, they just don't have enough power. Now, if you were using the crab pot motors, no problem, no problem at all. But watch again, I'm just gonna put a little bit of weight on it. Not much, just a little. And it just stalls the motor out. We put it on the other motor, we'll see the same thing. But what we're gonna have to do is put a little, little extension on the rear of this, remount the motors and you know give it a shot from there. So yeah, I'm on motor two now. Yeah, I mean, she seems to work pretty good, but yeah, this is not gonna cut it at all. Not for sim racing. We've been trying to do this in a confined or very confined situation. We're gonna extend the frame out. And guys, I mean I did give it my best to try to make this thing work in this little configuration. These motors, they're pretty warm. They don't have hardly any mechanical advantage. In fact, they have very little. If we move the frame out here, maybe one foot, and just kind of build an extension like I was first thinking, we run some uh, push rods up here to at least, at least a 45 degree angle. Yeah, we're gonna use up a little bit of space, but hey, at least it, it could work then. Right now, this ain't working. All right, guys. Well, it is what it is. We tried. We built it. And yet we failed. Or I failed. But that's okay. Because I know now that those little small windshield wiper motors put a little bit of stress on them. And yeah, they just don't have enough uh, power to do it in this configuration. We'll move them backwards. And that'll be in the next episode. Sorry for taking so long, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, having some fun doing this, but, you know, really want to get racing. I was in Live for Speed, and it worked a little bit, but don't know why it wasn't working quite well. Went back to SMC3, and when I started loading up those motors, yeah, that's what the issue was. They just don't have enough power. I can guarantee if you put those crab pot motors on, I mean, you can't stop, you can't even step on those things. They'll just lift you straight up in the air. And I'm like over 200 pounds. I'm sure these little windshield wiper motors, I could probably hold them back by with just a little bit of a lever with my hand if I wanted to. So, you know, they, they kind of work, they do the motion, so have confidence in that. But as far as actually being able to drive it in a sim uh, game, nah, not like this ain't gonna work unless you got more powerful motors so join me next time and i do appreciate y'all checking in i know it's been a little while since i've done this but i had some uh things i had to do um dave out <laughs>